Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video shows you what settings I think you should change on your Fire TV stick to get the best performance out of it. Now, Amazon do set a lot of settings on here and uh, not all of them need to be switched on. If you're looking to turn privacy settings on or off, have a look at my other video. I've done a video quite recently which shows you what privacy settings, but this video is not going to talk about privacy settings. It's more sort of functional settings for you to try and make your fire stick run that little bit smoother. So first things first, what we need to do is we need to go to this cog just on the right hand side here. So highlight that and then go down and we need to go across to display an audio. Once we've highlighted that, middle button on the remote control, and we want to go into screensaver. So I would recommend turning the screensaver off. So I would say go down to start time there, middle button on the remote, okay, and then go down to never, and again, middle button. Go down to date and clock, turn that off as well. Go down to display info, turn that off. So by doing this, we're just hitting, uh, highlighting and hitting the middle button. So make sure, like I say, and, and shuffle as well. So make sure that start time is never, date and clock is off, display info is off, Alexa hints is off, and shuffle is off too. Like I say, the screensaver can kick in. It can be annoying because it might kick in when you really don't need it to. So press the back button on the remote, go down to display, middle button on the remote control, go down to the bottom here, okay? And if you don't play games on your Fire Stick, then turn this game mode ALLM off. It's not needed, okay? If you don't play games on it or on, on your Fire Stick, then turn it off. Press the back button, go down to audio, middle button, and what we wanna do is we wanna turn navigation sounds off. That's the click, that click you get whenever you're um, going through the menus on the Fire Stick. So again, highlight navigation sounds, middle button, turn that off. Press the back button twice, go across to applications, middle button, and then go into Amazon Photos there. And if you don't use Amazon Photos, then turn both of these off. Turn off allow guest connections and turn off access Amazon Photos. Go to disable Amazon Photos there and disable again. Sometimes that might take a couple of goes to turn that off. So I'm just gonna go back into Amazon Photos. Let's check. Oh, they are actually, that, that's off, but allow guest connections is on. Now, allow guest connections is basically if you've got a friend who uh, comes round and he wants to display his uh, holiday photos on your Fire Stick, then with that on, it will allow, allow him to do that from his phone or a tablet. So I'm just going to turn allow guest connections off. So that's gone off now. I'm just going to come back out and go back in again. Yeah, just make sure that's held. So uh, next thing I need to do is I want to go down to App Store down here, middle button, and then go down to Notifications. If Notifications is on, we want to turn that off. So we don't want notifications popping up on the screen which are related to the App Store. It's, all these things are all taking up processing power. They're taking up RAM. Just, just basically slowing the whole experience down. So turn that off. Back button on the remote control twice. Then we wanna go down to preferences just there, middle button, and then we need to go down to notification settings just down there, middle button, and we want to turn do not interrupt off, or on, sorry. We, do, we wanna turn do not interrupt on, and this will hide application notification pop-ups. So we don't want pop-ups on our screen. So again, like I say, make sure this is turned on. So go to do not interrupt, turn it on. Press the back button. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna go down to featured content, just down here, highlight it, middle button, and we wanna turn both of these off. Allow video autoplay and allow audio autoplay. Now what that does is, now it, you might, it, this might work, this might not. If I go back to the main menu here, and I press the up button on the remote control, some of these adverts might have video in them. Now, at the moment, oh, there you go, that's played a video. Let's just go back. Now, if I go back into my settings there, go down to preferences, and go down to featured content, and turn both of those off, so allow video autoplay and allow audio autoplay. If I turn those off, 
let's go back let's go up to the adverts okay let's go into that advert there and as you can see no it doesn't actually play a video it just scrolls through the adverts it's just still pictures and no sound and sometimes those sounds can be really quite loud so let's just go back to the settings there and back to preferences and i think that's all we need to change in there so let's just press the back button okay so let's go down to my fire tv down there in the bottom left hand corner middle button okay go down to developer options middle button and really we need to make sure that adb debugging is switched off if we're not using it there might be some apps that do need adb debugging so if you do have a problem with an app then go and turn it back on but simply this again opens up a doorway for other apps to be able to uh, to use things on your device so if you're not using it i recommend turning it off okay and if we go into install unknown apps just have a quick look through this list here and really we only want certain apps to have access to install unknown apps and those are things like installers like downloader for instance or or an app store just go down the list make sure that anything that doesn't install an app is switched off and make sure that something like downloader which does download and install apps is switched on so again all you do is just highlight the app that you want to turn on or off say for instance I'll, uh, tv bro i wanted that to download apps it's switched off at the moment i just press the middle button on the remote and there you go it goes to on press it again it turns it off off it's a toggle switch that's a great little tip there all these little things will help the performance of the uh, fire stick just a little bit each of them but they all mount up you know all of them together do create let's say a lot of saving on the cpu and the ram on the fire tv stick to hopefully make it run that little bit smoother so there you go that is my tips on how to speed up your fire stick this was done on a 4k max but i think the options should be there on virtually any fire stick hopefully this will help you out it's it is a may 2022 so hopefully i've caught all the latest fire sticks and all the latest menu options in there for you and don't forget whilst you're here i've got thousands of other videos on my youtube channel so have a look around see if you can find something else that interests you and if you've got any other tips that you've found yourself please don't forget comment down below i hope you like this video and if you did hit that like button if you think your friends your family or your work colleagues might like it then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines and if you haven't done so already make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released hit that subscribe button then hit the bell then hit all you can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.